A coach and a swimmer, when developing technique by the use of paddles, must take several precautions. The front part of the stroke, or the initial entry into the water of the stroke, is the weakest part of the stroke, but in my opinion the most important part of the stroke. Care must be taken with the entry of the hand. It must be fingertips, wrist, elbow, shoulder, in that order. One of the dangers when using paddles is that just after entry, the swimmer tends to drop the wrist down and use the pressure on the water to feel the water. I encourage all coaches and all swimmers to look for a high wrist or an elevated wrist position during their stroke skills. When sculling, a wrist down position produces a backward movement and a wrist up but not too much elevation, produces a forward momentum. A flat wrist produces little or no momentum. A flat wrist is okay and it's acceptable, but it's preferred that we have a slightly elevated high wrist position. Also important in this part of the stroke is that the socket of the elbow, and you see the eye here, the eye at the socket of the elbow looks not up, but towards the bottom of the pool. So the entry is, Fingertips, wrist, elbow, shoulder, rotate, get the inward rotation of the shoulder by having the socket of the elbow look down, the thumb slightly down, and a high wrist position. The wrist, just after entry on the first initial stretch of the stroke, should be about one hand length below the surface of the water. When using paddles, it's ideal to initiate the young swimmer using both the wrist strap and the finger strap. However, as the swimmer becomes more advanced, this wrist strap can be done away with, but not if the swimmer has a dropped or a flat wrist position. This wrist strap should be kept until the swimmer develops the skills and the strength and the feel of the water by using the wrist strap. So for young swimmers, I highly recommend the wrist strap, and for the older, more advanced swimmers, the wrist strap can be dropped and left at home. But I must emphasize that the initial part of the stroke, whilst being the weakest, is the most important part of the stroke, as it dictates the line of technique that you are going to live with for the rest of that stroke. So I place a great importance on that initial entry and feel of the stroke in all of the four strokes.